there was a big hoopla about the oh, is it gonna be exclusive? Is it not gonna be exclusive? What's happening with Starfield? What's happening with Bethesda when they were getting purchased? Of course, people are gonna buy the system for this game because they can't get it on PlayStation. Yeah. There was this uh, interview with Lex Friedman that Todd Howard did, the cre- the creative director for Starfield and basically the, the head of Bethesda Game Studios. And he was talking a lot about Starfield and some of the interesting things that he that came out of this was his speaking about the expectations he feels now that they are acquired by Microsoft and the level of quality that Starfield has to be it was very interesting. Since Microsoft has been doing all these purchases of, of different studios, the games that have been coming out, a lot of people have been saying they're not really Microsoft's games and they're not reflective of Microsoft's involvement in their development and they're not re- they don't really count as Microsoft games when they come out and if they're highly rated such as psychonauts a lot of people say that psychonauts success has nothing really to do with microsoft and doesn't reflect on microsoft as developing a successful game which i agree with in the case of psychonauts but starfield is a different story and this this is kind of what he's saying in this interview he feels the pressure of having to sell xboxes with starfield because they were purchased what do you guys think of that sentiment uh, I think he's right to think that because this is going to be a triple A game and uh, they have a history of basically selling Xboxes with their Elder Scrolls series. I think it was one of the key sellers for the original Xbox. Great game. The next Elder Scrolls came Oblivion and, and Skyrim. Oblivion and Skyrim were big sellers, popular. Fallout, I don't think it's really associated with Xbox, is it? Yeah, Fallout was the first game that launched from the multi-platform on launch day. Oblivion exclusive at launch. Morrowind never came to PlayStation. That was the first one. All right. Yeah, I think they. I think he knows that this game has to be a success, and it does have to sell systems because Microsoft doesn't have many. This is going to be like one of the one of the big ones. I actually feel bad for their situation. This kind of reminds me of titanfall what titanfall one was for the xbox one a great game great potential you know it's going to be good although it wasn't an established ip neither is starfield but i think the the they expect the quality of the elder scrolls and of the fallout so it's kind of slightly different in this case but it's still the same we have it exclusive on a system that is the underdog in this generation it doesn't have many exclusive not a lot of people have this console it is a lot of pressure for this for this game to sell this system i don't but thankfully it's also on pc so pc sales are also going to be a huge factor and it's going to help it's not exclusive to the console only which would have definitely hurt it to be honest i don't know that it's going to sell up although the fallout series and elder scroll series have definitely sold not saying they don't sell but this isn't one of those games that sell tons And the fact that it's exclusive, I would argue even hurt the game. I think it would have done way better if it was released on PlayStation. I'm hoping that this gets released somewhere where Xbox has some kind of other games around it. Maybe if they have a few hits before, a few hits after, so that this can actually succeed. So people can actually say, hey, I'm going to want this system other than this game. Because we're talking about... Let's, let's talk about people who don't have the system, right? And what's going to get them to buy this system. If this is supposed to be a system seller, Starfield, that's a hard sell. Unless, like, we go the Don's route and say, hey, this is my secondary system. I'm going to pay 300 or 250 in the holidays, and I'm going to get this game on the Series S. That's a, that's a viable alternative. Or, or if whatever we're talking about, those who have not upgraded to this gen yet, and they're playing either the the Xbox One X or the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4, right? Are Is this game going to be enough to make them say, hey, we're going to get an Xbox Series S or X and we're going to get the Starfield? I don't know. Like, I, I really, I'm confused as to where this game falls in that. Maybe it's 
the existing Xbox fans, the existing Xbox Series X fans and PC fans who love this franchise. I really can't see this game alone being the reason that people come to this platform. And if you guys like our content, please feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. We'd love to see you as new subscribers so you can keep getting our new videos and shorts that we upload weekly. We'd love to have you. Yeah, it's going to be tough. No doubt about it. It might be like a niche fan base, like people who who loved the Elder Scrolls series and can't wait to play Starfield that don't have an Xbox and might get it because of that. Hmm. But how many people are those? How many millions? Maybe not even millions. Hundreds of thousands of people. I just want to point out, you guys are talking about the creators of a game, Fallout 3, that sold like, what, 10 million copies at least? Followed up by Skyrim, which sold like 20 million copies, and they're still making versions of that game today. You're talking about the next game from this studio that mil tens of millions of people played being niche. Like, think about what you're really saying right now. This is this is a big deal. There was a big hoopla about the, oh, is it going to be exclusive? Is it not going to be exclusive? What's happening with Starfield? What's happening with Bethesda? When they were getting purchased, of course people are going to buy the system for this game because they can't get it on PlayStation. The difference between the games that you're mentioning and the game and this game is that everyone already had these systems the user base was were way bigger than they are right now and it's limited to one console and pc once again pc is huge but it's limited to one console and when those other games came out they were already had an established ridiculously large user base that all they did to all they had to do was release the game this is a exclusive xbox game on a platform that isn't doing too well this generation. I don't know that it's going to, guaranteed it's not gonna sell the same as the others because it's not multi-platform, right? But I think the argument can be had that how well this game is reviewed and how well the critics and I guess the people see this game is how well it's gonna sell. Like if this does what Elden Ring did and all of a sudden it's like this huge pop culture icon of a game that everyone has to touch, then of course it's gonna sell. I don't think it's going to do that. I would love if it can, but I don't see this having that impact. And I think it's going to hurt the brand being exclusive. I hope it does well. I really do. I'm looking forward to this game. I vehemently disagree with everything you just said. Let's, if you just look, like, look at, you just mentioned the Elden Ring, right? It was a phenomenon that sold millions upon millions of copies from a niche genre. Look at the game that came out before that at the start of a gen that was a new IP from the same studio from software, Bloodborne, which was a Sony exclusive to the PS4. And that was the first million seller exclusive on the PS4. None of the other exclusives that came out before that sold anything crazy, but that one did. And it was a niche game from a niche genre from a, from a studio that people complained that made their games too hard and people bought it. This game, they're not trying to sell it. They're trying to sell Game Pass. This game is going to be free on Game Pass. It's not going to sell. It's going to get subscribers. It's going to get people into the ecosystem. It's the first next-gen game that Xbox is going to put out. First next-gen only game. This is going to be the first next-gen only game from either system because everything coming out of Sony now is cross-gen too. People are going to want to play this game. You don't have to spend that much money to get in. You could spend $250 right now, get an Xbox Series S. You're going to be able to pay maybe $300 unless there's a price increase. Pay $300 for an Xbox Series S if you don't want to invest too much if you're in the Sony ecosystem. And then you can just get Game Pass. You pay $10 for Game Pass. This game isn't online. You don't need Xbox Live Gold. You play it for the month. If you really love it, if it's really that good, they'll stay subscribed and keep playing it or buy the game. I agree with you. I think it will do game pass subscribers i think even easier than buying our xbox console is just getting pc xbox game pass and playing it on that i can see those numbers being huge um i can see people definitely doing that i can't see people who do not have an xbox saying i'm going to purchase this series s i don't even know who these people are that purchase series s if you guys purchase a series s please let us know in the comments people i know either i'm a ps5 or an xbox series x i think this is going to sell a lot on Game Pass for PC. Of course, everyone who has Game Pass right now is gonna play this game guaranteed. 
system seller this is where i'm 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 a little i'm i don't know is this going to bring people into the platform yes from game pass perspective wholeheartedly agree you brought up a great point don as desert eagle mentioned the key is is it a system seller who are the people who are going to buy xbox just to play starfield it's so it's ps5 users probably right how many of them are the ones that are going to be like finally starfield is out now i'm gonna get an xbox i don't think that's five million or or more i think it was way less than like five million if i had to throw a number out there it's definitely not gonna be half the the number of sales or people who play starfield whatever the number count is gonna be because like how do you how do you judge sales with game pass you can't it's by people who play right so I doubt that half, maybe a quarter of people who play Starfield are going to be people who bought an Xbox. If you liked our content, mash that like button. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.